It was a nice autumn day, and I was wondering why Disney keeps the Disney vault such a secret. I know that there is countless images of the vault, but, but Disney makes sure to keep one VHS tape in the vault a secret. My cousin, who works at Disney, told me that there is one VHS tape of a Goofy movie that Disney wants nobody to know about. I asked him if he could possibly bring the VHS of that movie. But surprisingly, he said that he had a spare copy of it. I wanted to see what was so secretive about one VHS tape. Uh, my cousin came in. I should say that I went to his house to talk to him. He had a VHS that looked rusty and old. There was so much dust on it. We cleaned it and put it into our VHS player. It started normal. In fact, everything was normal. That was until the ending. Max attempts to grab the steering wheel. See, that was already weird, because Max tells Goofy where to go in the original movie. But he made the car drive off a cliff. The car kept falling until it landed in the water. The car got destroyed. Max was trying to swim. It, it looked like he was about to drown. I kept watching. He kept on going and going down the waterfall. He keeps drowning and drowning. Normally, Goofy would save him, but Goofy tried and failed. Max was getting closer and closer towards the waterfall. He fell to his death. It wasn't shown that he actually died, it was just implied, but, but Goofy was watching in terror. He walked until he saw a person who was offering him a car, and Goofy accepted. He drove off to his home. He gets home and looked at Max's old stuffed teddy bear. Yes, that name is canon. Goofy finds a spare gun and puts it into his mouth, saying his final words. Goodbye, Disney. Then shoots himself to death. I was shocked when Goofy actually pulled the trigger. The next day, Roxanne walks inside Max's house, calling his name, about how she didn't see him on TV last night. But she doesn't hear Max's voice. She looks around the house, but she can't find him anywhere. Until she sees Goofy laying on the floor, dead with blood, all over the gun beside him. Roxanne screams in horror as the camera zooms into her mouth. And then it faded to the sign that said, Have you seen me? The drawing stuck to the poster on the lamppost, with a poster of Max Goof on it. We don't want to go missing like this, Bobby says with a sigh. It just doesn't happen. I just want to know what happened with my best friend. Then it faded to PJ crying while looking at the picture of Max. Oh, Max, wherever you are, please come back to me. A shot of flashlights, resembling a search party, is at the Grand Canyon. It took up a few final shots of the movie, before the camera zoomed out and moved downwards to the waterfall. It was a shot of a toothless Max Goof laying on the rock. He was soaked, blue, and dead. His teeth were showed buried around the rock. His pants were missing. His shirt was torn, and there were visible lacerations around his neck. There were X's in his eyes. In his hand was a ripped Traveler's Guide map. And in his heart was nothing. The camera cuts to the time card that said, Five days later. Sounded like a French narrator from Spongebob Squarepants. A funeral was being held for Goofy and Max, with Roxanne... Bobby and PJ attending and crying. After the funeral, PJ walks up to the tombstones and places flowers on each of them. PJ then looks at the camera and says in a soft voice, I really don't want it to end like this. Then he leaves the graveyard, and the camera pans up to the sky just like in the real version. The credits rolled. But instead of the song that usually plays, there was a sad, depressing piano track playing in the background. At the end, a quote came on. Here's what it said. 
If you feel stuck, do what Goofy did. Walt Disney. For a second, I couldn't believe that that Walt would put something like that in this in this movie. I emailed Disney, and they said that they didn't make the tape. That possibly someone else did it. I asked my cousin if he made the tape. He wasn't there. Did he? I pondered. I drove off and watched the real version of a Goofy movie a bit later. I then heard a knock at my door, and upon answering, I saw a piece of paper. It said, If you feel stuck, do what Goofy did. I was tired of hearing that quote, so I tossed it in my paper shredder. I'm about to go watch the real version of a Goofy movie. Maybe I'll let it soon. <laughs>